us as press as a blogging platform. And why, well, Karina, why is it important to have a blog? Now, we touched on some of this earlier, but, you know, let's, let's really get into the meat of it. Why it's important. Why would we even want to bother with WordPress? Well, if, if you are going to blog, then it makes sense to have everything consolidated in one place. From a strategic standpoint of view, it's less to manage when it's all in one place and you have certain search engine benefits that you get so that people can find you fr through the search engines, actually. And as much as Google will like to tell you that, um, it, or anybody, if you have anybody who says to you, hey, I'll get you a page one rankings in a week, run away from that person, because Google, their search strategy, their algorithm, their search algorithm, how they change, find, change how they find you changes constantly. It they do does. that on purpose to make sure that, you know, the right people get found and the people who have more nefarious, maybe, um, objectives, it makes it harder for them. They, it makes it easier for Google to filter them out. But one thing that a blog does is it helps you, it's kind of an, it's an enduring SEO strategy for starters from just that technical side point of view because no matter what Google does, no matter how they change their search algorithm, one thing that will always be a part of that in the various ways that they determine how they how that what that criteria is, they're always looking for fresh, relevant content. And if you're blogging, is you know who your audience is, you've developed a voice, or you are aware of developing a voice, and you're blogging fairly consistently, and you're on topic, then you've got fresh, relevant content. So, from a blog perspective, it's a great way to boost your visibility for your whole website when they're integrated like that because it is a content management system now you can run a whole website that includes the blog page they don't have to be separate so that's a huge advantage from also search engine standpoint of view there's something called metadata if you don't know what it is don't worry about it but there used to be or there still is a type of metadata that it appears in your web page your users never see it it's what all happens behind the scenes but what is keyword metadata and at one time Google did search on that criteria. Did you have those keywords? Well, they no longer use that as a criteria. People misused it, and so it's no longer a part of what they look for in finding when they go to look to find your, your website or show it to visitors, rather. But with a blog, you can tag. You tag with your keywords. So you can actually use the benefit of keywords and keyword research and how people find you when you attach those to your different blog posts. So from just a plain old search engine optimization standpoint of view and helping visitors find your website, there's two real big benefits right there by having a blog as part of your blog page as part of your website. Beyond that, from a more marketing strategic standpoint of view, it's a great way to establish yourself as an expert in a field. It's a great way when you're commenting on other people's blogs or you're referencing other people's blogs in your own then it's a great way to build those relationships and develop different affiliate type relationships. As I mentioned before with the Julie and Julia blog, that wasn't necessarily a business blog, but it was monetized anyway because of the outside opportunities that it brought to that author to do the book, to write a book as a result, to do the movie, etc. So it also from that visibility or being an expert or being visible at all in your industry and in your field, you want to have a niche then it brings outside opportunities. And when you think about um, your other social media and how you integrate that, like I said, you always want to have a call to action. Well, your calls to action don't always have to be buy my stuff. It can be, you know, let's comment, create dialogue and feedback, and that's what you're going to do through your blog page. So it gives, you know, some place for you to drive your calls to action as well. And it is it is the granddaddy of, of social media. When when you are invested in that and you are consistent and you're developing content on a regular basis or inviting guests to contribute to your content, you don't always have to do your own con you know, you don't have to create all of your content. That's another way to create those relationships. Hey, I'd like you to be a guest author on my blog. Um, again, those things bring in greater opportunities. Um, you but do bring well, with, this is going to kind of follow up with the with the blogging side of things. 
once you've developed that kernel of, of information, then it can be repurposed in many different ways, in your offline brochures and marketing. It can be developed into a speaking topic. It can become a note or a, or a post on um, Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, um, any one of those. So you get a lot of bang for your buck by developing those kernels of content that you can repurpose in many different ways to meet your marketing strategy. Right, yeah. And, and one of the other forms that kind of bring us to um, the next question that I have is you mentioned social media in, in terms of being able to repurpose your, your blog um, postings there. So can we go into a little bit more detail of how 